Welcome back to a very cold and very loud St Werberg Centre. It's noisy here and it's dusty. Well, since the last visit, there have been some developments here. We've got the steel structure up for the annex, but the refurbishment of the old building has been slow. We're actually five weeks behind on this project because there are physical difficulties with this building, which we didn't anticipate. The importance of working in partnership for a small organisation as St Werbrick's Community Association is it gives us a huge amount more capacity to move forward. St Werbrick's has formed partnerships with both private and public partners. One of the most significant partners we work with is Bristol City Council. The partnership with Bristol City Council came to be as a result of our discussions with them about the potential for an asset transfer on this centre and the approach to the Community Assets Fund for funding for this project. The key private partner that we've got is GSS, who are the company with the architects, designers, quantity surveyors. They actually came on board a long time ago, before we got the funding, in order to help us develop the project. Hi, my name's Marcus McGowan. I work for GSS Architecture. We're a local-based architectural practice. We've been working with St Werbergs for a couple of years now, helping them obtain the funding, first of all, and from then on managing and designing the construction of the new annex and the refurbishment. On a day-to-day -day basis at the moment, the partnership working is generally managing the works on site, overcoming problems as they arise, and managing the financial aspects and reporting back to the lottery and funding agencies. GSS Architecture gets a lot out of this because we don't always get to see the fruits of our labours, we don't always get to see the project benefit the community because generally they're a little bit further afield. But in this case we, we really enjoy helping the community association become more self-sufficient and improve their facilities for all the local people. In the coming months, we will be leaving the building for one month where we'll actually be on site in a porter cabin. And hopefully, by the time we come back in, we'll have some radiators in and the heating will be on. 